Hi viewers, I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina. Today, I would like to introduce you to my 10% role of handling a Filipina scammer, a girlfriend, date, or companion who wants your monetary support. This role covers her family, friends, and relatives who want some of your monetary, covers any situation or crisis. My 10% role is very simple. Never give any Filipina the full amount of money she is requesting rather her situation or crisis is legitimate or fake. She will expose her true self if you only give her a tiny portion of the support. She will scream, rage, and reject you if she is that type of Filipina. You have to understand the magnitude and scope of planning that goes into a scam or herself or family plan to get your money. For example, if she asks you for 100,000 pesos to get her mom's cataracts operation, just give her 10,000 pesos as your donation or contribution to the operation. No matter how persistent her pleading or begging hold from in your actions, this will accomplish two things. One, it will show and demonstrate your generosity and concern for her mom's welfare and well-being. Two, it will let her know you are not easily or cannot be coerced into giving up your money, no matter how bad the situation or crisis. As long as you hold firm on your position, she will either have to respect it and you or move on to the next victim. It will also make her realize her plan needs a revised strategy and more fall proofing. If she asks you for money to attend training or college, ask for total cost and apply the 10% rule. For example, around 60,000 pesos monthly in cost and you apply the 10% rule. You only pay 6,000 pesos. The school or university will accept 10% as long as the final bill is paid. If she is scamming you, the 6,000 pesos is unacceptable. Loss versus losing to entire 60,000. Especially if it's a scam or deset. Now in terms of land or property, the 10% roll will save you thousands of dollars. If she asks you for 250000 or more for land, property or house, and you have that load of money to respond, 10% roll is your savior. Get a lawyer and only agree to 10% until you learn if any taxes, liens, debt, and ownership Rights are 100% cleared. That includes any administrative actions and required coordination and clearance. If she was seeking 600000 and you only paid 60000 the loss is more tolerable. Even if you are only dating, engaged, married, or in cohabitation, the 10% role is your money protection role. Lastly, you will definitely encounter the famous Filipina loan me money and I will pay you back money request. It's part of any Filipina relationship. The payback is a false nightmare because it rarely happens. The loan can be for food, hospital cost, funerals or other circumstances. Whatever the reason, it's more than likely a lie and well thought out scheme and outright fraud. Once again, the 10% role saves you from donating the full amount, but shows you are responsive and caring, but not easy pickings. You don't need to use the 10% role if your companion or friend is an ultimate Filipina. An ultimate Filipina will not ask for any money 
and it's up to you if you want to provide economic support. She protects your best interest at all times. I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina, wishing you an ultimate day, an ultimate life in the Philippines. Take care. Bye.